Bros and those, it's Ashley Optic Midnight. Today, I'm bringing you guys another free for all gameplay on Prison Break. I thought this gameplay was awesome. Number one, look at this sexy camo. Number two, I'm using a gun that I don't usually use. And number three, I go on like a crazy streak. I don't remember how many in a row it is, but you guys will just see in the gameplay. But that's not what I want to talk about today. Today, uh, I want to talk about somewhat news. I'm not usually like a channel or YouTube Call of Duty channel that would be like, hey guys, this is the latest news in the community. Listen to me. But uh, I thought this was extremely relevant to things that I enjoy. Maybe some of you guys will enjoy it as well. So, number one, coming out, coming right out the gate. Tina is now Go Tina. Goat. Goat Tina. No, never mind. Uh, <laughs> she uh, announced yesterday, last night, that Call of Duty Ghosts, uh, Clan vs. Clan, you know that playlist that is like a super half-assed version of League Play from Black Ops 2? Well, now it's going to be a whole lot more like League Play uh, from Black Ops 2. Um, I'll link you guys down in the description to the actual thread where she posts uh, the changes. Um, but the changes in, in the thread include a bunch of rules for the Call of Duty Esports rules that, that the pros and just the people from the competitive community have been asking for um, so that they can play their games in the most competitive and fair way possible. And in the rules, they also say, add esports rules to clan versus clan playlist. This is huge. And another big, huge thing. Open clan versus clan playlist to allow solo player entry and mix clan teams. So basically, league play. She also uh, listed right under that modify dead silence amplify functionality. This is something that's been huge, especially in free for all, which you know I'm a huge free for all player. Amplify dead silence is amplifies too overpowered. They need to nerf it. They need to make dead silence more quiet uh, to somebody who's wearing amplify. So that's that's a big change. Um, so, I mean, and, and they're just, I mean, they're, they're opening up Xbox One LAN support, they're fixing broadcaster mode, hopefully, and they're also um, fixing Search and Destroy. They're modifying the diffuse time and the diffuse sound effects and uh, resolving the defuse timer animation discrepancy. So, for instance, this past weekend at UMG Philly, uh, we actually had a moment in overtime SD. I believe it was the last map as well. Last map, last round. This person's diffusing the bomb, and it said that it was diffused, but it actually wasn't. So that was a huge deal. So it's really awesome that they're fixing stuff like that. So, um, so why why is this important? Well, it's important for the esports community and watching, you know, tournaments, playing game battles, watching the 2K series that MLG does every weekend. This is huge if you're a pro player. Huge if you're trying to get into competitive, and honestly, like huge if you're a spectator. I am a massive spectator of Call of Duty Esports and all these changes are gonna make it way more enjoyable for me to watch and so you guys will have to let me know what you think down in the description or I guess the comment section about that and also I mean League Play. <laughs> league Play. I know they're not calling it League Play and I don't know if they're gonna have as intricate of a ranking system as League Play did. Look at this camper. What are you doing? Um, <laughs> that was random. Uh, I know that they're not gonna have, or I don't know, but I don't see them having an intricate, you know how a League Play had multiple divisions and then you could rank up the ladder within those divisions. I'm not sure if it's going to be like that, but even just having uh, the esports rules and the esports maps and the ability to pick up anybody instead of just playing people uh, with people from your clan, that is huge. I'm so excited to play that. It's going to give me a little bit of a new uh, newfound enjoyment in Call of Duty Ghosts because pretty much all I play right now is free for all. I can't really stand to play anything else, uh, but Definitely a competitive playlist is something I would spend a lot of time in. You guys will have to let me know in the comment section below. What do you think about those changes? Obviously, they just recently changed, you know, pub playlists and, and did a couple updates for that. So it was kind of the esports community's turn, I guess you could say, for them to get a little bit of an update. Next, what I want to talk about is actually Call of Duty Championships. You guys know uh, the last two years, Activision has put up a million dollars each time to hold the Call of Duty Championships. The first year, Optic ended up winning it. It was Big Timer, Mercs, Nade Shot, and I believe Vengeance. I'm going to feel awful if I freaking am remembering that wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was Vengeance. Um, and then the second year, Impact, last year, ended up winning, and the new one is coming up. I believe it's being played at the end of March. So how it's going to work, uh, this is a little shaky. I'm not too sure about this. I'm not a pro player. I'm not on a pro team. But if I was on a pro team and, and hearing about these qualifiers, I would be nervous. The qualifiers, uh, you're, you're only going to have eight teams from North America. 
So eight out of 32 teams will be from North America. The rest of the teams will be from all around the world, uh, hence the name Call of Duty World Championships. Like it is literally the World Championships. Um, I don't know if they call it the World Championships, but it's, it's like the Call of Duty Championships. Whoever wins is the best team in the world, okay? Um, so how that's gonna work. So qualifying, I'll link you guys down in the description below to the article that I'm reading on MajorLeagueGaming.com. Uh, but there's going to be uh, a qualifier online best of three matches. Best of three means literally the first team to win two maps takes the series. That is terrifying if you're a pro team. Best of threes are known as being kind of fluky. I think it's more competitive and offers a better chance to see who is more uh, a dominant, I guess, if you play obviously more maps. Um, so that is super nerve-wracking, I bet, if you are a pro team. That's going to be super interesting. Another interesting thing that I thought was really weird, uh, the, the qualifiers are actually being played on Xbox 360, and the, the, the championship, the world tournament uh, that's going to take place in LA, it's all going to be played on Xbox One. That's huge. Those are completely different controllers. Uh, whether or not Scuf and, you know, just these big, huge controller brands that, that the pros use, um, if they'll be out by then, who knows? We don't know yet. Um, I'm hoping they will be. So that's huge. So the, the top 16 teams that qualify online will then go to a regional qualifier in Florida. That will happen on March 8th and 9th. So that's going to happen just a few weeks before the event. Um, and out of those 16 teams from North America, eight will make the cut to make it into the Call of Duty Championships tournament. If you don't make the cut, you don't get to participate. So that's also huge. Playing in those qualifiers is gonna be super intense and then after those qualifiers in Florida, they're gonna have about two or three weeks to get used to the Xbox One and play in the Call of Duty Championships. It's gonna be insane. I'd love to know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below, whether it's about league play and the esports rules or about COD Champs itself. Let me know down in the description, guys, or, or I guess the comments, I don't know why I always call it that. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys later.